were you always real close to Lil' Kim? Lil' Kim, yeah. Uh, Lil' Kim and I work on her album. We were pretty cool, you know what I'm saying? We went on tour together. You, you, you produced on her first album? I got no time for fake niggas. Just sip some Cristal with the real niggas. From East to West Coast spread love niggas. While these niggas talk shit, we count back. Thank you. That was you. That was me. Have you seen her recently? No. Have you seen pictures of her recently? Yeah. We we, we were, uh, you actually, my, my cameraman here, my, my okay. camera was at a video shoot for her and Tiffany Fox. Okay, okay. Uh, Tiffany Fox, the rapper. Rapper, yeah. Okay. Yep. Okay. Um, and. I did a party with Tiffany. What up, Tiffany? What up, Tiffany? Um, and a lot of people were really like, wow. Kim is really going hard with the plastic surgery. Once again, this is my opinion, but I'm not the end all be all and none of that, but you know, we can only control ourselves. Sure. I can't say, yo, Vlad, I feel you should. I could say that, but ultimately, you like, motherfucker, you, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's up to me what the fuck I want to do. You know what I'm saying? So uh -huh. when we look in that mirror, you know what I'm saying? When we take a good look at that image, you know what I'm saying? Only we could be happy with that. You know what I'm saying? Who's to say that, you know, a person want to do whatever they got to do if they want, if they got the bread to do it, plant your style off. Make yourself happy. You know what I'm saying? Whatever makes you happy. That's my, that's my scenario. That's my theory. Hey, have you ever had a conversation with her about the, the plastic surgery? Nah, that's not, that's, that's you know that's what I'm not, saying? Not not no, yo, if we, no matter how you look, Kim, it's going to be my friend. No matter what she want to do, we still going to be cool. Yeah. I ain't got no problem with her. You know what I'm saying? Do whatever you feel like you want to do. Uh, how did how did you feel when her her and Nicki Minaj were going back and forth and, and she she was saying how you know cause she even recently said that without without Lil Kim there would be no Nicki Minaj. Do, mm -hmm. do you agree with that? Without Grace Jones there wouldn't be Lil Kim. Mm -hmm. You know it's a it's cycle. Always, it's always something. Like yeah. You know without Tina Turner there would be no Beyonce. You understand know what I'm saying? Like, sure. You know. It's, so it's just a cycle. Something. Without Dre, it wouldn't be me, Dr. Dre. You know what I'm saying? Without Chucky Thompson, there would be no me. You know? Without Babyface and, 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 you know what I'm saying, L.A. Reid, there would be no me. You know what I mean? Right, so, without no Andre Harrell, there'd be no Puffy. Right! No Dre, there'd be no Puff. But you don't hear these people constantly saying that. Well, you, you, you know what I mean? Like, you, you don't hear Andre Harrell constantly telling people, like, he don't, yeah, I, I made Puffy. Because, no he, you know, he doesn't have that ego. He's not, you know what I mean? The, I'm not the one being like, yo, if it wasn't for me, it would be no hits for that. No, 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 yeah. no, no. I know what I had, my contribution was. Sure. Excuse me, to the hip-hop society, to, 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 to the golden era of hip-hop, you know sure. what I'm saying? So we don't have to go rubbing things in people's face if we know the contributions that we've made to society and hip-hop. Well, why, why do you think Kim, you know, someone who really knows her well, like, like why do you think that, that, that the, the Nicki thing kind of bothers her? Once again, you know what I'm saying? Um, everybody has their own opinion on how to take things. I just take things how I do. Maybe Kim felt that she deserved some more homage on this side or that side or whatever, but you know, I wouldn't beef. You know what I'm saying? I'll just go ahead and just, let's just do it together. You know what I'm saying? Let's sure. unite and do some things that empower us all. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm not into the beef and none of that. Wayne had just put out an interview or statement saying like he didn't like New York, and, like New York. and you know I mean it's his opinion to say I you know ever since I met Stevie when he pissed me off fuck your bitch ass faggot ass nigga but that's how we talk in Miami and I'm trying to work on that because I actually my brother's gay 